Good day and welcome back to Ranico Plays Massive Chalice. It's well last time round we had two fights in relatively quick succession. We of course won both of them because we are good at video games. Uh and we're only playing on hard, it's not that bad. Um and yeah, uh things are going reasonably well. We've got a number of trainees in various keeps. These guys are not having kids as fast as I'd like, but we have other kvasas around. It'll be a concern if they continue to not have kids. I'll have to keep an eye on that. And we're nearly finished building our uh, our crucible. So crucible, sage rights guild. St then we really need to start boosting other things. Deborah Blood Moon of Wicked Heels has died. And here's our problem. Child of Us sucks very much. You're actually infertile as well. And you're just bad. Tranquil is nice, but slow and slow learner... I mean, slow is in general a problem that we have with this household. Child Tendency Sun... Um, I'm still gonna have to appoint you, I think. Strong-willed, nearsighted. Strong-willed, nearsighted. Bear strength is at least a positive trait, but slow and slow learner are so bad. Ah, oh, all right, no, Tony, you're in, and um, let's give you uh, lice. No, but I mean, lice is actually very nice and super high chance for kids. Yeah, okay. That's, yeah, she's doing a good job, so yeah, we'll do that. Good, they're having kids. New Crucible. Okay, so the Crucible lets you have a standard. This is one trainer for the rest of your kingdom. So they pass on two different things. They pass on personality traits, and they pass on their own experience. So at the moment, I have a bunch of negative traits that I kind of want to get rid of. So one of the options is to try and actually have... So one option is to do something like this, right? Wily, Oblivious, and Tranquil. Oblivious is not great, but Wily, is a, Wily and Tranquil are pretty good. So I could put them in. They're also in for a relatively short period of time. The other option I have is to try and grab uh, someone who's a rebel. Because rebel basically means that if they pass on the rebel trait, then the other traits, they will pass on the opposite quality. Or what will happen is rebels learn the opposite quality. So rebel is kind of nice to try and push in to get rid of our other traits, but it has a significant um, possibility of backfiring. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in Richard. Wily and Tranquil are good traits to push in, Characters can only have three active traits, so um, at least from uh, once they hit trainee, they can develop a fourth or fifth through random events. It's the only job I'd ever be interested in. But yeah, here we danger, go. Sure. So they're but boosting our trainees, others, all to the and yeah, in and increased accuracy is good. Wily, I don't really care as much. Right. So now, Sage Rice Guild. This is what we want to grab. So we can start boosting how quickly we build things. So the question is, do we try and... Do we get greedy and go for something on the outer edge to boost our, ca our characters? Or do we go safer and go for something on the inside ring? Um, I think we'll go safer, actually. So what we'll do is we'll grab the Pale Sea. And then we can start actually boosting our research output. A ruler's work is never done. We wouldn't bring it up if it wasn't important. The corruption spreading in the salt stacks has not been taken well by the populace, and the simmering anger has worked into a frenzy by notorious chalice sympathizer Salisa Lane, resulting in riots. It being a region close to Giuseppe Blood Moon's heart, your hero has offered to ride back to the salt stacks and attempt to quell the escalating fear and violence. So, we've got a couple of options. We can say... Begin peaceful negotiations, uh, infiltrate, or allow them to help from the capital. All of these have a potential for backfiring. 
I'm not really sure which one I'm going to pick. Um, I'm going to go with peaceful because I generally feel that that's a better choice in real life. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Giuseppe leaves the salt sacks with a, and without a weapon. I won't be needing it. Okay. Two years. Did you see the training course and our standard died. And That's pretty much what I expected. Faint-hearted and stalwart. Hey, Bagel. You do not have the... Uh, child of us trait. Okay, let's try and do this. So that way you can pass that on. You're also the highest level, so you're actually going to be significantly boosting the level of our heroes. I hope the regent will be able to recover from this. Yep. So our alchemists have uh, died. So, wow. Okay. Yep, you guys have certainly started having a bunch of kids. We can mar remarry them. Do we want to have someone with traits that we want to try and pass on? Because right now, that's all that we actually care about, right? We're not expecting more kids. Cocky child of us, no. Wily child of us, reveler, no, none of them. None of them at all. Okay, an exhausted Giuseppe Bloodman has returned. I couldn't promise them that the salt stacks would be safe forever, so I did the next best thing. If we lose the salt stacks, every citizen will be allotted a plot of land near the capital to be used as they see fit. They accept it. Now, if you don't mind me, I'd like to pass out for at least two weeks. Gain the nickname The Negotiator. Good job. So, The Negotiator. Go. Yes. Just help pass on positive traits until they die. Okay, so this one or this one? It's definitely this one. And your alchemist, fine. Seeds, ruptures, and bulwarks. Let's see what we got. I wish there was a clear retinue button. So bet we're definitely keeping with this. Uh, now, we've got a bunch of new alchemists. Rebel and Sluggish. There. Rebel, Flincher, Insightful. Slow. There. Bountiful, Bear Strength, Slow, Rebel, Alert, Nervous. Maybe. Puny, Nearsighted, Slow Learner. And yeah, you're bad as well. Alright, so Juno. Yep, go for it. Skills, free throw. That's nice. You, John. Rebel sluggish, nimble. I mean, yeah, this will do. Okay, we've got all of these. This is all nice. We've only got one hunter because uh, we kind of used a bunch of our hunters up. Used up is not really the term I'd like to use, but you know. We'll have a significantly less sneaky party this time around. But oof, Child of Us is not a trait I want to have, ever. Okay, that's not good. Right, I see what they mean by that, too. Okay, so. Now, first, you go here. And follow up on this. Yes, definitely. Oh, just straight up kill him. Even better. So those guys are pretty wounded. Johnny. Hey Johnny, Johnny, you. Go kill this. You're pessimistic, I hope. Nope. Realistic. You. Oh, you're so slow. Oh wow, that is so bad. I really do not like that trait. Ugh. Such a garbage trait. Let's try this. Yeah! Look at that! Nice! And you just run up and hit him. 
guaranteed kill there. Because even if I'd missed, I would have done a glancing blow for a couple of points of damage. So you hit me, and you come and do stuff to mess me up. Nope. Alrighty. You've already used follow-up. You're also my only hunter, so you're the only one with follow-up. Uh, you guys are way too slow to have gotten anywhere where I could uh, assist with that. Really? Really? For realsies? Why do you guys suck? This is a perfect lineup as well. Ah, <sighs> okay. You. We'll move here, and we're gonna go free throw. Take that, and then we're gonna move here. And then you're gonna move here and hit three guys. No, no you're not. Perfect. Now you. 90% chance, and if you hit, you will kill. Go for it. Perfect. Oh, hi there. Those guys are slippery, which means that they're hard to hit, by the way. But they shouldn't be that hard to hit, honestly. Um, you can back up, and then we're just going to turn. Okay, now you sneak up. Yes. Uh, we want to sneak to here. I think that will give us the most visibility. You gotta be drunk, don't you? Yeah. Frickin' monsters. Oh, hi there, Rupture. I'm just gonna back up again. <laughs> and enter. So here is a fun thing that you can kind of do. Is there a spot I can't move for whatever reason? Um, don't see one. I mean, there's that, actually. That probably is a spot I should be able to move. Uh, let's see. If I move here, what can I see? Here. Oh, well. Follow up. Okay, great. Where did you go, Seed? Oh, there. How come I couldn't... Oh, pro nope. I actually still don't know why I couldn't hide there. Whatever. It's only a Seed. It won't kill me. Once I've got some armor, those guys are even less threatening. So... Let's just keep going up. And you pop up here and you go bah! And then something else shows up here. Nope. Nope. Good, good, good. Biff. Can you can you stop that? It would be real nice if you just just die. How many people does it take to pummel a seed to death? More than I would like. If this seed lives... If this seed lives... Good. Everyone had a go. Ooh, actually... So one thing I've not actually determined... Don't know if the backer gets XP from missions. I 
think it doesn't, actually. Great. So that helps to protect me from missile attacks. And since I don't have any other cover, that's why I'm doing that. And you can move your slow, slow butt this way. Okay. I wonder where they are. So it's possible that I basically run in the wrong direction. Oh, hi there, Seed. Anything else gonna pop around the corner? Nope, nothing. Really? Bueller? Uh, let's do this. Oh, there's another Seed. You just can't hit, can you? Really, it's not that hard. Or shouldn't be. Now tell me that wasn't funny. Like that, see? He could do it. Oh, hi there. Okay, let's see. If I move anywhere, can I see anyone? No. So where I should not move is anywhere where someone else can see, can line up with them. Uh, let's move you here. So you're going to show up and you're going to angle and hit both. Shit. One. That is not what I wanted. You are totally not dead somehow, amazingly enough. Okay. You. Okay, great. Now, you run up and heal him. We're going to play a little game of throwing the ball. Yep, that's what I expected. And then you do this. And the downside is, this thing still doesn't die. Unless this guy can charge in. Oh, he can. He totally can. Downside is, he will take a little bit of damage next turn. But that's fine, because we can kill this. And it will do more damage. I love it. I actually really like the music when it kicks in like this. Um, let's see, if I run up here... Is it just a one? It is just a one. Okay. Okay, right. So you are also kind of stuck. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Oh shit, I see you. Oh, okay. There we go, good. So, the problem we have is there is a rupture around here. There he is. Fortunately, yeah, there's that. 18 to 21, both of these guys have already gone. So, let's see. 
If we charge in, you can do... You can um, you can potentially kill it. Okay, great. you still got a free throw. Good. So. You can charge up here and attack. Oh! Hello, everybody! <laughs> Shit! This is not what I wanted! <laughs> um... Okay, what can we do? I was actually kind of banking on this being the end. Whew, okay. So let's see, if I move you here... I can free throw there. You, on the other hand, should get the hell out of the way. Just out of the way, right? Yeah, good. 83% chance. <sighs> okay. Oh. Just complete miss, right. Okay, you didn't explode. Yes, he fired at the wrong one, kind of. Because since they're obscured, that gives them an increased evasion chance. Okay, you. Ah, oh, fantastic. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Now, let's see what we can do here. You, you should back up. You should move back as well. So, free throw, here. Excellent. And this will almost be dead, but not actually be dead. Which is a pity, but we can cope. We'll get that one nearly dead too. Okay, now, you can go over here and you can try and lob this way. No one's near them enough that it's going to be a risk, I hope. Okay, you are actually dead. Excellent. Now, we've got one more, which is here. If I put you here, you can follow up on this and then basically nearly kill it. More, yep, yeah, I was hoping to get a crit, but this will do. And then you can move over here. And you can stealth move to here. So you are wounded and can be taken out by anyone with a ranged attack. You are still going for this guy, which is fine. I mean, can't say I'm thrilled about it or anything. But it's also something we'll cope with. Good, good, good. You, I think I'm going to try and continue to feed XP to. Because you got the backer. And that should be everything, I think. Yeah, yeah, it is. Alrighty. Well, now I don't want to. Didn't oh, quite get to level four. But yeah, that's all nice. Good, good, good. Alrighty. I'm not laying the blame at anyone's feet, but the corruption in one of our regions is reaching a critical level. And once it's completely clear, and we got a new alchemist. Along with anything and anyone in it. Yep, that's a pity. I mean, in pretty much any fight where we are choosing between this place uh, and a place with a single strike, we'll go for this place. But on the other hand, we don't have a building there, so it's less of an issue. Uh, Sage Rites construction. Uh, yeah. So 
uh, we'll leave it here for today and next time around we'll come back and we will keep going. We'll build ourselves our first Sage Rites Guild and then we'll start actually researching gear so we can get uh, our troops better. So I speak words good. Until then, thanks for watching and have a great day. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you spending the time and effort watching the videos I make. Uh, if you'd like to watch more, on the left there should be another video from this playlist, on the right there will be whatever YouTube recommends, and in the center there is a convenient subscribe button just in case you need it.